Hi there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 12.6 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 12.6 is called Metric Units of Length and we are going to be filling out in our big books page 469 today. So what you're going to need in order to complete this lesson is this chart right here. So just like earlier lessons in chapter 12, we are changing from this length to this length. In order to do that, you find the rule. For example, if we are changing from centimeters to millimeters, we are going to multiply the number that's in front of the centimeter by 10. If we are changing decimeters to centimeters, we are going to multiply the number in front of the centimeters by 10. If we're changing meters into decimeters, we're going to multiply the number in front of meters by 10. And if we're changing meters to centimeters, we are going to multiply the number in front of meters by 100. If we're changing meters into millimeters, we are going to multiply the number in front of meters by 1,000. So let's just go ahead and start. So we are changing two meters into centimeters. So I want to go from meters to centimeters. So I look over at my chart. Right here is where I'm doing meters to centimeters. So I'm going to multiply the number in front of the meters by 100. So 2 times 100 is 200. Okay, number 3, I'm going to change centimeters into millimeters. So if I look over at my chart, changing centimeters into millimeters, I'm multiplying by 10. 3 times 10 is 30. Changing decimeters into centimeters. So that's right here. I'm going to multiply by 10. 5 times 10 is 50. Okay, now this is a little bit different. We want to change them to say the same thing. So I'm going to change this meters into decimeters. So meters into decimeters right here, I multiply by 10. So 4 times 10 would be 40. So 4 meters is the same as 40 decimeters dm. So now I can compare 40 decimeters and 40 decimeters, same thing. So I'm going to make an equal sign. Okay, number five, centimeters and millimeters. I want to change the centimeters into millimeters so I can compare. So right here, centimeters into millimeters, I multiply by 10. 5 times 10 is 50. So it's this 5 centimeters is the same as 50 millimeters. And now I can see 50 millimeters is much bigger than 5 millimeters. So I'm going to make my alligator mouth eat the 50 millimeters. Okay, number six, centimeters and centimeters. We don't have to do anything. They're already the same. 65, 65, those are going to be equal. Whoops. For some reason, mine looks different than what's in your book. I think yours says six, six decimeters and 65 centimeters. If that's true, let's change the decimeters into centimeters. So that's right here. That means I would multiply by 10, and that would be 60 centimeters. And this one would be 65 centimeters. So I want my alligator mouth to eat the bigger one. So your, your book may look different than mine. I think your book says right here 6 decimeters instead of 65 centimeters. Okay, number seven, seven meters or 700 millimeters. So I want to change the meters into millimeters. So if I look right here, changing meters into millimeters, I'm multiplying by a thousand. Seven times a thousand is seven thousand. 
and that will be millimeters. So I'm comparing 7,000 millimeters to 700 millimeters. 7,000 is bigger, greater than. Okay, now this part right here asks us to write our answer. We're describing the length in meters, so we're changing whatever it starts with into meters, and we have to write it as a fraction and a decimal. So let me show you how to do that. 65 centimeters, and we're changing that to or to meters. So centimeters to meters. So I'm going to have to go backwards right here from centimeters to meters. So when that happens, what I do is I just take the number that's in front of my centimeter, so that will be 65, and I write it over top 100. So it would say 65 over 100, or writing that as a decimal, 65 in the hundreds place would be 0 0.65. Five. So again, number nine, changing centimeters to meters. I'm just going to take the number that's in front of the centimeters. That's going to be the top, the numerator. And I write it over 100. So as a decimal, that's 0 0.47. Okay, this one's writing decimeters as meters. So if I look up here, that's right here. I'm going backwards. So instead of writing what's in front of the decimeters over 100, I'm going to write it over 10. So then I'm in front of 9. So I'm going to write 9 over 10, or 9 tenths, which I write as a 9 in the tenths place, 0 0.9. Okay, so here's another one with decimeters changing to meters. So I'm going to write the number that's in the front, which is a 2, over top of a 10. Or 2 tenths, that means a 0 0.2. Okay, problem solving. Lucille runs the 50 meter dash in her track meet. How many decimeters is this? So we're changing meters to decimeters. You just go back up and you look at your chart. One meter is equal to 10 decimeters, so I'm multiplying by 10. 50 times 10 is 500. So it would be 500 decimeters. And the hot question. Alexis is knitting a blanket two meters long. Every two decimeters, she changes the color of yarn to make stripes. How many stripes will it have? So in other words, we've got to first change the meters into decimeters. So if I look at my chart, I'm right here. That means I'm multiplying by 10. So 2 times 10 is 20. So she is knitting a blanket that's 20 decimeters long. Every two decimeters, she's going to change the color. So, I'm going to have to do two, this 20 divided by two, because not every two, so it's like division. 2 fits into 20 10 times, so it's going to have 10 stripes. Alright, so this is lesson 12.6. You have to have this chart, or you have to have the chart memorized in order to do this lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message.